I've been a Section 8 investor for 10 years, and I'm telling you the vast majority are Caucasians. Now I want to tell you how some of these folks had access to millions in assets, but were still qualifying for government assistance. About eight years ago, my mentor was trying to teach me about trust and trust structure. And he started sharing information on some of his friends that have been gaming the system all these years. Just by moving all these assets into the trust, they had no income and no assets on paper. So therefore, they can start qualifying for whatever they needed. Section 8, food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare, you name it. But then he really blew my mind because these parents that had put all their assets into a trust, now when it was time for their kids to go to college, guess what? Now they qualify for student loans, grants, Pell Grants, things of that nature. Instead of the parents having to pay the full ride for school, financial aid paid half, student loans paid the other half, but guess what? Since that student was still a beneficiary, the trust actually paid for the student loan portion.